Welcome back to Designer Studios channel. We are presenting nine various types of 3D t-shirt mock-up template. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to use them to design, make mock-ups and also animations. These 3D templates can only be used in Blender. So go down in the link to download and install it. Don't forget to download the 3D mock-up template from our website. After downloading the template of your choice, make sure to unzip it to avoid any issues later. Open the unzipped folder and inside the unzipped folder you will find a Photoshop document and also a Blender document. So open up the Photoshop document and once the file is open, hide the info layer and now locate your graphics and start placing your graphics onto the pattern. You can also add um, sleeve hems and also body hems. Once you're contented with all your graphics, make sure to save the document and close Photoshop. Now open up the Blender file. Once you have that open, head to the top right corner and enable the rendered view for shading. Now if you follow all the previous steps correctly, your design will reflect on the t-shirt like this. To zoom in and out, use the middle scroll button and to move around the t-shirt like this, hold the middle scroll button and move your mouse around. Now to change colors of the t-shirt and add in acidic wash, Make sure the t-shirt is selected, head to the material menu and make sure the t-shirt material is selected. So now you can change the t-shirt color to any color of your choice. But for now I would like to keep the t-shirt color black right and for the wash color you can choose any color of your choice and you can also copy your color codes uh your x color codes and now we can uh do some additional settings to the wash like some additional tweaking to the wash uh first i would like to increase the wash scale and here you can also increase the wash detail and finally you can increase the wash roughness the roughness actually gives it realism and you can just uh, try out all the settings to tweak uh, to make your wash effect and so far so good I think I'm contented with this I might just change the color a little bit make it better give it a red tint <laughs> so once you're okay with your design uh, let's talk about the scene. So the scene comes with uh, two setups. Uh, one is the basic scene setup where you can render your mockup uh, with no background or with a backdrop background like this. And there is also a studio scene setup where you can render your t-shirt in a background like this. So the choice is yours. Although I'll get back into this later, so I'll save with this and talk about the basic scene setup. So if you wish to render your mock-up with no background, make sure uh, the no background is selected and expand it. And under the no background, you can select a lighting of your choice. You can use one lighting or combine multiple lightings from this section now if you wish to render with a backdrop uncheck the no background and 
check the backdrop now once you check the backdrop you will see a backdrop like this and expand the backdrop and here you can also select a lighting of your choice there are multiple lightings and you can also customize the backdrop you can change the color of the backdrop or By, to change the color you can just select the backdrop and change the color right here you can also change the color of the light by selecting the light itself you can change the color of the lighting and yeah that's that with the backdrop so explore all of these tools okay now to render with uh, the studio scene so I'll go into the studio scene setup I'll collapse this and enable the studio scene setup now to render in the studio scene setup uh, once you enable the studio scene setup you will see a studio scene like this and here there are also more to uh, there is only one lighting in this section and you can also change the color of the studio, the studio scene. You can change the color of the dome, for example, like so. You can change the color to any color of your choice. And also you can change the color of the lights as well by coming into the lighting. And also finally you can, uh, oh yeah i forgot to say this so you have two options there is the t-shirt with the m tag and there is also a t-shirt without no m tag but there is a neck label so you can also choose uh either one now to render your mock-ups go into the camera section and under the camera select the camera of your choice first press zero on the keyboard and here you can select the camera of your choice make sure to click the green icon to go into the camera view and each of the cameras in this uh, studio scene setup as animations so you can use them to make mockups and also uh, like some animations for example as you can see and also uh the next thing i would like to cover is rendering now let's go into rendering our uh, mock so for this stage i would like to render with no uh back background scene so i'll enable the basic scene setup with the no background and enable the lighting option of my choice and under the camera section here there are about 50 cameras like I said before so you can select which of the cameras you would like to use there are multiple mock-up cameras and also animated cameras so to select the camera of your choice make sure you have the green icon selected again so to render your mock-ups go into the output properties select your resolution and also select where you would like to save the document and the file format i would always recommend using png and rgb especially if you have uh, if you're making the mock-up with no background once you have all that done uh, for the scene make sure you're using your gpu if you have a gpu to enable the gpu quickly go into edit properties and system so under the system if you're using an nvidia use optics and here you can select your gpu and cpu so make sure you're using the gpu the sampling and the setup for the render properties is already made so you don't have to make any changes here so to render your mock-up 
just press render and render image or press F12 on the keyboard. For the animation, I would like to use the studio scene setup. So to render your animation, again, make sure the camera of your choice is selected, right? Once you have the camera of your choice selected, I would like to use this display. Yeah, I'd like to use this. So once you have the camera of your choice selected, again, go into the output properties. Uh, here, because we have a background, we have a background color. Make sure you're using the RGB and also make sure to select where you would like to save the animation. For the file format, I'll change this from PNG to FFmpeg video and under the encoding change the matros card to mpeg4 and the video codec leave as is and the output quality to uh, high quality I would advise is high quality and yeah that's the settings for rendering your animation then you can go to render and render animation or press ctrl f12 on the keyboard and it will render your animation so that's uh that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this tutorial um make sure to like and subscribe to support the channel and thank you for watching.